What's going on guys? Welcome back to Rewatch Reality. If it's your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about a little rumor that's been floating around on Reddit about a week ago regarding Michael's BMW i8 and it potentially belonging to Mocha. Now Mocha took to his Instagram stories earlier addressing a similar rumor, but his rumor that he heard were people saying that him and Michael actually bought the same exact car. I'm gonna go ahead and run the clip and then we'll talk about it after. Trying to lock in a 20 to 30 city tour, big boy stuff. But I'm coming to talk about this one right here. So somebody said, my boy Mills and I have the same car. The car they talk of, right? Look at the date, November 17, 2021, right? They offered me 64,000 for this i8, which I took, you know? I, I took the 64 bandos and then, um. The other one went for 51 grand. This is two years apart. So Mills had um, the white i8 and the Lambo. He started the i8 trend. I only knew about the i8 because of him. You know, in 2013, going into 2014, he had a 2014. So yeah, look at that date right there. Get your facts together, all your reality gossip people. Don't do it to yourself. Okay, so I have to be honest, prior to Mocha posting this clip of him addressing their cars, I was gonna pose the theory that Michael's black I-8 was really his white I-8 that he had prior to getting arrested with a paint job. But now that Mocha shared this video, that would essentially rule out my theory because Mocha said that his purchase, based off his receipts, his car was purchased in 2021, and essentially Michael's was purchased two years prior, which would put that at 2019, and Michael was incarcerated at that time because Michael got arrested back in 2016, and he didn't get out until 2022. So that poses the question on if it is Michael's car, how would he purchase the vehicle while he was incarcerated? Incarcerated. So essentially with Mocha saying that Michael's vehicle was purchased in 2019 while he was incarcerated, it poses a similar question that a lot of people had during Love During Lockup when Justine was gifted the Mercedes Benz. And that is, how is someone who's incarcerated purchasing vehicles? So to bring this around full circle and essentially address the whole rumor of people saying that Michael's i8 is really Mocha's. So now I have a couple new theories based off of what Mocha had said. So my first theory is that not all the drug money was confiscated when Michael was arrested. So there was a lot of money floating around. And since Michael essentially couldn't do anything with it, considering he was locked up, he told Mocha, go splurge, go enjoy yourself, go buy some nice shit and have something ready for me when I get out. Because that's the only thing that would make sense to me on why someone would purchase a vehicle in 2019 for somebody who's still in prison and isn't gonna get out of prison for the next three years. And my second theory is that maybe the money did all get confiscated and essentially because Michael didn't snitch. Now during a live between Michael and Mocha when Michael was addressing snitching rumors, Mocha had said there's no way that Michael snitched because if he snitched that he would have went to jail too. Essentially they were doing business together so maybe for the fact that Michael didn't snitch that Mocha is really the one with money and essentially rewarded Michael with all this nice stuff as well as taking care of his family because he held it down by not snitching on anyone or the third option is that I have and you guys can tell me in the end what you think your theory is because all my theories could be wrong my other theory is that they essentially buy things together and they share stuff so they basically rotate vehicles around so sometimes Mocha will have the car other times Michael will have the the car they'll get a different car and then they'll share those cars I mean it's clear that there's money flowing around so that's not an issue Justine just quit her job there's like eight kids coming and with the new one coming so raising eight kids and taking care of a wife paying the mortgage I mean money's coming in somehow so essentially those are the theories that I could come up with and I want you guys to let me know in the comment section what you guys think it is what are your guys thoughts on this whole situation do you guys think it's the same car do you guys think mocha purchase for Michael with his past money? Do you think that they owed loyalty to Michael and therefore now Michael gets to reap the rewards of holding it down for the six years? You guys let me know in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think. All right guys, that's all I got for you today on this video. Thank you so much for watching Rewatch Reality. Don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time, peace out.